guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to film a nice blue warm tone look. I think it's inspired by this look here. I'm just going to do my little spin and try and recreate it my own way. Let's really hope that it goes well. Anyway, let's get into the video. Right, so because I'm doing quite a colour heavy look, I've already kind of... I'm not going to do my foundation first this time, I'm going to do my eyes first, but... I can never do my eyebrows after my eyes, so I always do like this bit first. So I started with my Milani foundation and I just put that on my forehead and set it with my NYX powder. And then I did my brows with the Eileo Brow Palmade. And then I cut underneath my eyebrows and sharpened it with the Collection Last Imperfection Concealer. And finally, I put on my P. Louise base in i think this is the rumor one this is the original one because i know she's come out with a load of new shades but then i put this on and finally and i already said finally but i then set it with charm from the p louise pat it pat it palette <laughs> just here in the inner portion because that's the only part that i tend to grease so let's get in with the video i'm first going to go in with the shade chaos from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I'm just gonna use the little brush that it comes with. I'm gonna use this side to pack on the color to my outer and inner corners. I'm also just running this into my crease here. Just apply it real messy because we're gonna blend all of this out anyway and we're gonna just cover all that so that's fine and then to blend out my harsh edges like here obviously um we're gonna take the shade sun kissed from the p louise palette and we're gonna run that just above it not too high because that's where we're gonna put p louise i'm gonna put that just a bit lower and i'm taking this little kind of just slightly bigger pencil brush to do this just so I'm really precise. And then on top of that orange to blend it out I'm going to then take the shade P. Louise. And now we're going to build that blue back up a little bit more. Okay, to kind of warm this look up a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the shade Urban from the Electric Palette. Just on top of that blue to make it a bit more kind of indigo-y. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Contour instead. I feel like something's kind of missing in the crease, so I'm just going in with the shade Queen from P. Louise palette. I'm just going in with this one. And I'm literally doing that just to kind of blend out the harshness of the blue that we've still got going on. I'm absolutely loving this look so far. There we go. I've just built up some of the purple and the blue and I've added a lot more red into the crease. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the spotlight off camera and then I will come back in a second and we'll start again from there. So this is what I've got so far. I think I might have put it a little bit, I think I might have put it a little bit too high. But we'll go with it. I think to blend the edges of this out, I'm gonna go in with Shark Bait from Makeup Geek and we'll just um, wing it, I suppose. Literally just putting it on the outside of what I've just done. the middle bit 
I'm gonna go back in with charm. Right here now I'm gonna stop blending the there it is. The blue and the white together. Now also use this shade here, which is Gonzo, and I'm gonna I don't know, I think I need to unpop the blue that blends. So we'll pop that here. See what happens. If you guys have any good recommendations for like cheap tiny brushes like like this then let me know we did it i don't know like how good it is it's my first in the spotlight and we're putting glitter there anyway so right speaking of glitter where is it <laughs> oh i have this sparkles london type I don't know like holographic -y type glitter there isn't a name or anything on it and then I'm just literally just using eyelash glue to put it on because I don't have anything else so poor life but I have ordered some new glitters from House of Sparkles and I have a discount code for that too there the um glitter adhesive so I ordered that too amongst all my other glitters they were doing like a five for five pound and I was like oh I don't mind if I do so yeah, I can't wait for those to come. I'll do like a mini unboxing thing with that too. Probably on my Insta story, not like a full on production. So I'm gonna use this slightly bigger paintbrush for the glue and this slightly smaller one for the glitter so I can be a bit more precise. Hopefully it goes well. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this revolt underneath, like just now on my eye so that the glitter has some shimmery as a base. We got there. This is what I've come up with so far. I don't know if I'm liking it or not, but I'm just literally. So now I'm gonna do eyeliner. Eyeliner. All right, standard, taking my Maybelline liner and I'm gonna do it off camera because it's just flat liner in it, so yeah. Eyeliner done and time to wipe all of this off my face. I'm gonna do my base off camera because this is more look about the eyes. This is. Oh, and look, I decided to go for today, just nice and simple because we are putting on some big lashes. So, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm back and I have pretty much done my base. Um, I'll walk you through what I use, just so that you know. So, I used that Milani foundation on my face, which was in the shade Sand Beige, and then I went in with my collection as some perfection concealer under my eyes. And then I went in with my Kate, what's it? I don't even know what this is called. This thing from Rimmel London and Kate. I used this shade just to deepen up. I don't want a full on contour, I wanted more bronze. So I used the contour shade for that. Then I used the little bit of blush from here too. And I used my next contour palette and I used and I use this shade here. That's like my favorite bronzing shade at the minute. I love it. And then for like a stronger blush, I used this orange tone here. Oh, so use my e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. This is in the shade Lilac Petal. I absolutely love this. I use it for the base here. It's just so good. And my actual highlight, get my contour palette out again, is this really kind of white, white shade that there is the nyx sh like highlight there there and then this is what the elf facial whip looks like too so pretty so now oh 
Mm. Now we're going to pop that white highlight shade in my inner corner and on the brow bone. Now we're going to work on my lower lash line. going to go in with the Rimmel London, I don't know what it's called. It's like a, it's just a nude pencil, I'm going to put that in our waterline. Okay, now that the uh, white eyeliner is done, we're going to pop on our lashes. So, so now I've just got on my lashes, uh, my Autumn Hope lashes in the style AH32. <laughs> and I've put mascara on the top now on the bottom and then I went in underneath my lower lash line with the shade chaos which was the blue the purple which was contour and the red which was queen if you can tell but I really messed up the inner part of my oh my god I'm so annoyed for lips I'm going with my MAC satin lipstick in the shade twig it is this lovely like pink colour and here we go this is the finished look. I'm just gonna spray something plus. Oh, it feels so nice and refreshing. And that's it for today's tutorial, guys. I don't know if it was more of a tutorial. It's more like a me like messing around, trying to show you my thought process, trying to recreate a look. I think it turned out okay, considering it was a. Uh, my first spotlight eye, I've never really done one, so if you have any other suggestions, let me know. All my details are down below, where to follow me, where to find me, my blog, etc. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff in case you want to see more of me, you know? I mean, you don't have to, but why wouldn't you? And I think that is it. I think we are done for today. Oh yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. See ya.